listening to Real Guy Radio. How many pro wrestling news websites do you visit to get your daily news? Three, four, maybe five? Do yourself a favor and make that number one. WrestleChat.net, the only professional wrestling news site that brings you all wrestling news all day long and is home of the critically acclaimed Still Real to Us podcast starring former CZW, ROH, and ECW announcer Eric Gargiulo and the champ Jeff Peck. That's WrestleChat.net. WrestleChat, it's where it's at. It's still Welcome, everyone. Welcome once again to the Still Real Thug Show, episode number 89, October 27th, 2011. I am one half of the wrestling podcast tag team champions of the world. I am the champ, Jeff Peck, from the Wheelhouse Radio Program. Joined, as always, with the editor-in-chief of CamelClutchBlog.com, former host of Pro Wrestling Radio, former ROH, ECW, and CZW announcer, the one and only Eric Arjula. Eric, how are we this week, my man? Jeff, doing very well. Uh, vengeance is over. Thank goodness for that. And we can look forward to the Muppets. Um, I, I can't lie, Eric. I, I know this is straight out of wrestle crap type stuff. But I grew up as, as a fan of the Muppets. Um, to this day, nostalgia, kid, retro stuff. Um, a fan of the Muppets. Um, I, I, I got to admit, I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to this. You're not the only one. From what I hear, there are actually people in the company, like wrestlers, uh, WWE superstars, that are actually looking forward to this as well. Yeah, I, I mean, I, wait, wait till they have to do skits with them. But but apparently they're they're very excited about this. I know it's silly, and uh, Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy and uh, Fozzie Bear on Monday Night Raw or on a wrestling television show doesn't scream like a big deal or or ratings. But uh, I, I, I'm not going to be going out for Halloween at the age of 25, so I'll be sitting down watching the Muppets on Monday Night Raw and, and hope I'm entertained and it isn't uh, a horrible, horrible shit show um, that could possibly be happening. But I, I don't know about you, Eric, but I was always a fan of the Muppet show growing up. Uh, I don't know how it's going to come off, but uh, I, I can't complain. Are, are you looking forward to it? Um... Am I looking forward to it? Eh, well, you know, they, you got the Chargers and the Chiefs that night, so I'm looking oh. forward to the Chargers and the Chiefs. So. ESPN is just firing on all cylinders. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm actually pretty excited. I, I had a lot of fantasy implications of that yeah. game. But anyway, without getting sidetracked, <laughs> you know, I mean, I mean, like you, Jeff, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit older than you, um, and the Muppets were, like, in their, their prime when I was a kid, so – uh, I can't say I'm looking forward to it, but I certainly wouldn't turn it off either. You yeah, know? yeah, no, I definitely see where you're coming from, and uh, I know I read the same thing. I heard Hornswoggle is making a push on Twitter for the fans to m- try to get him on the show. Uh, <laughs> I, I guess that's how. That, huh? Yeah, wow, well, he's he's kind of fallen pretty low. One minute he's with DX, and and I don't even know when the last time Hornswoggle was on WWE television. So uh, I, I'm guessing he'll be involved somehow. But but nonetheless, the Muppets on Raw on uh, Halloween night, so uh, we'll be checking that out. Uh, Eric, by the way, last Halloween night, as a, as a man where he doesn't have to go out for the next, I don't know, what, 12 years, uh, taking a child out, huh? Looking forward to yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, so this is uh, my last uh, childless Halloween. It's uh, it's pretty exciting, Jeff. Yeah. Never really thought of it that way. It'll be uh, Philip Rivers, Matt Castle, and the Muppets, yes. uh, as Eric will be celebrating, and I, I guess uh, occasional uh, people knocking on the door, correct? Yes, of course. Uh, you know what? Here we um, 
uh, last year we put stuff out and like nobody came last year. I don't know if we're scary or what, but, but nobody went to, nobody was interested. Well, for what it's worth, Eric did put out Sid Vicious Dolls. Yes, uh, and, yes and I did. Nobody went for it. Uh, nonetheless, we'll, we'll talk about Halloween next week. Uh, yes. We'll talk about the Muppets. I put on, I put on a DVD of the best of uh, Jersey Shore and wrestling. <laughs> oh, yes. So, uh, Ronnie, got to be on TNA soon. Yes. I can only ex- imagine them, them following on the big rating this week with, with Ronnie. And by the way, um, I know we're getting a little sidetracked here. Halloween Muppets, the Jersey Shore. A lot of people, I heard a lot of feedback. They enjoyed us talking TNA wrestling last week, Eric. Yeah, I heard that too. That's really exciting. Yeah, it's good to hear. So TNA offices. Yeah, I'm sure we'll have to let uh, the new uh, booker there, Bruce Pitcher, know that uh, the Still Real Test show should be on Impact Wrestling. We we get the ratings for TNA as well. Damn, um, right. Damn right it should. So a uh, lot to talk about this week. Like we mentioned there, TNA scoring a big rating from Impact. We'll talk a little bit about that. Um, thoughts on Jim's, uh, James Storm. Uh, when from watching uh, when we watched the uh, impact this past Thursday, uh, Mick Foley, his return to the WWE has been confirmed. Yeah, um, it's it's a big deal. We'll talk a little bit about Raw. Uh, maybe talk a little bit about uh, Zack Ryder getting buried. Uh, Eric has a blog about the WWE and Twitter. We're going to talk about, but uh, let's get right into it here. Let's talk a little bit about vengeance, Eric, to start off the show. We'll, we'll blend that into uh, early Survivor Series thoughts. Um, a show that I have. On a personal investment in, as I will be there live uh, in what they're calling the new Madison Square Garden. Um, I didn't Is know. Uh, well, they did some new re- renovations inside. Oh, so, okay. Um, uh, as long as I'm not blocked uh, in any way or have a sign in my face, I'll be looking forward to it. So uh, Survivor Series coming to New York City. We'll talk a little bit about that. But let's get right into it. Vengeance. Um, before the show, Eric and I were talking. I asked him if he saw the whole show. Uh, he, like me, did not. It was, it was spotty at best. Um, saw the stuff that we needed to see. Um, anything in the uh, lower card before we get into the main stuff that uh, caught your eye at all, Eric? Mm, the opener was pretty good. The opener, the uh, the uh, air boom and uh, swagger and Z- and Ziggler, that wasn't that bad. But other than that, nah, I mean, just uh, um, nah, nah, not really. I thought Zack Ryder and and Ziggler was a little disappointing. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, I thought the opening, t- I, I thought the tag was pretty decent. Um, thoughts, real quick, two thoughts here on the, on the lower card of vengeance. Uh, the Swagger Ziggler stuff, they've kind of gotten sidetracked lately on the whole stable angle. Um, I, I kind of get, and we both are fans that were grew up on managers and, and stables. Um, do you at all when it comes to Swagger Ziggler? And Vicky Guerrero getting like an old school storyline feel with this whole thing of the uh, like Vicky Guerrero associates or whatever. Yeah, yes and no. I mean, I I could definitely see where you're coming coming from there with the throwback, but you know, I know Vicky Guerrero is pretty popular uh, on the internet, you know, through the internet uh, wrestling community as they like to call us and the people that listen to this show. But you know, I, I just don't see it. I think her act is so old uh, at this point that. Um, you know, to me, uh, I don't really put a whole lot of stock there. I would love to see kind of like, um, you know, like a first family with a guy manager, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not really buying it. All right. It, it, to me, it has that touches of an old school, uh, storyline feel, but nonetheless, they've kind of gotten sidetracked off that the last couple of weeks after, uh, coming from though. Yeah. I mean, for a while they were teasing on Twitter and on various sites that she was going to get more wrestlers and, uh, outside of Mason Ryan, we haven't really seen anybody else added to the stable and that was for a face turn. Um, second question here on the lower card portion. Um, Dolph Ziggler, Zack Ryder match. You mentioned it. Um, Ziggler and uh, Swagger lost in the tag team match. Uh, that match, according to Wikipedia, which we know is fact, went almost uh, 14 minutes. Uh, then he gets in the ring and defeats Zack Ryder in six. And, um, I mean, we could talk a little bit about here because what we saw on Monday Night Raw. Do you think the WWE is going out of their way right now, creative Vince McMahon, whomever, to just bury Zack Ryder because he was a guy that came, uh, climbed the ladder based off of his uh, social networking popularity with the fans? Uh, I definitely think it hurts him. I definitely think it, it's hurt him in the eyes of the bookers because uh, they just have um, that obvious resentment when that happens. I mean, uh, look how long the Hardys uh, were, were, were not, you know, look how long before it was where the Hardys were given their opportunities. You and I have talked about Christian and, and his struggles, um, you know, since we've been doing this podcast here. I don't know. You know, I know you um, are a little more upset about the burial than I am. Uh, you know, I mean, I've never really been a Zack Ryder fan. I know people dig his uh, YouTube stuff and the Twitter stuff and everything. But it's it's almost to me, um, it reminds me of a – it doesn't remind me of anything. To me, it's just 
a guy that's just out there doing stuff to get noticed, but none of it's really that good. 